Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to perform a regular nozzle head cleaning check with your Epson printer. So basically this just allows you to visually inspect the printed check pattern and clean the nozzles if they are necessary. So pretty straightforward process, very normal procedure here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off opening up the start menu. Type in control panel, best result, should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by up in the top right to large icons and then select devices and printers. You want to select printers and scanners and then locate your Epson printer in here. Just left click on it and then go down and select printing preferences. Select the maintenance tab and then select nozzle check. So to perform a nozzle check, make sure the printer is on and connected to the computer. Also make sure that A4 or letter size plain paper is loaded in the rear paper feed. Click print to print a nozzle check pattern or click cancel to quit. We're going to select print once we've met those parameters. Your printer will begin printing. Make sure that it's set to the proper settings here. And if it is, you should be able to select finish. Otherwise, if it isn't, you would select the clean option. And then you go ahead and select the start menu here. And it will take a few minutes in order for the cleaning to complete on your printer. And then once that is done, it will indicate it by the power light not flashing any longer. In which case at that point, then you probably want to print the nozzle check pattern once again and see if that has resolved the problem. Otherwise, you might have to clean it one more time. Generally, that's probably the best option. However, if you're still having an issue, you may need to do a power cleaning, which will use up more ink. It'll go into your waste ink tank, and you're going to have to replace the ink sooner. I'm not one to really believe that using power cleaning every once in a while is really damaging to your printer. Some people believe it is. You know, it depends who you want to listen to. Generally, it's better to not really use any equipment at all. But, you know, we don't live in that kind of world. You have to use stuff. Unfortunately, in the course of using it, they have this option here to do a power cleaning. You know, you might need to explore that as a secondary option before you have to throw out the printer. Pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.